What's up, everybody? Welcome to a new English bit. I'm Katya. Today's lesson is going to be short and sweet. I absolutely adore idioms, and for today, I've chosen five C1 idioms. Are you ready? If so, grab your vocabulary notebook, open your section for idioms, and let's kick off. <laughs> So, the first C1 idiom on my list today is behind the times. If someone or something is behind the times, it means that they are old-fashioned, outdated, and they don't keep up with current ideas, fashion, trends, information, etc. And now let's look at three examples. The first one, when I signed up for Amazon Music a few months ago, I discovered a whole new world and realized I'd been behind the times for way too long. True story. I love listening to music and I really like this app. And guys, if you want to try Amazon Music, you can have a one month free trial and you can find the link in the description box. The second example, I like to follow new fashion trends in order not to be behind the times. And one more example here, if you don't have Amazon Prime Video, you are clearly behind the times. I'll link the free trial in the description box as well. And now let's move on to our second C1 idiom, which is to beat around the bush or to beat about the bush. About is British. It means to avoid talking about what is really important and instead speaking without getting to the point. So it can be quite annoying. And now let's look at three examples. The first one, he gets on my nerves when he beats around the bush without getting straight to the point. The second example, let's stop beating around the bush and cut to the chase instead. And here I got the first bonus idiom for you to cut to the chase. It's super common and it's just the opposite of to beat around the bush. And it means to get to the point without wasting time. Let's put it into an example sentence. Let's cut to the chase because I'm in a bit of a hurry. And one more example to see this idiom in context. I have a feeling that he wasted my time by beating around the bush at the meeting. And now let's move on to our third idiom, which is to be on the ball. It means to be quick to understand and react to things and to be focused and alert. And now let's look at some examples. The first one, I haven't been on the ball lately. That's why I make sure to meditate daily in order to gain some focus. The second simple sentence, you must be on the ball if you want to get those cancer tickets. They are highly likely to sell like hotcakes. And here I've got the second bonus idiom for you to sell like hotcakes. It means to be sold very quickly. Let's put it into an example sentence. Clothes that have been worn by influencers usually sell like hotcakes. And one more example with this idiom. Tax advisors need to be always on the ball as new laws are being constantly passed. And guys, before we continue and learn two more C1 idioms, just a super quick reminder, please make sure you're subscribed to English Bits if you like this channel and make sure that your bell icon is on. There is a weekly lesson waiting for you. It's on Sundays at 12 p.m. Thank you very much. 
Tomorrow to go, number four, we've got a British idiom to go from strength to strength. It means to gradually become more successful or confident. And now let's look at three examples. The first example, Ed Sheeran is a successful songwriter whose musical career is going from strength to strength. Guys, if you haven't listened to his latest song, Bad Habits, check it out. I'm loving it. The second example, since hiring extra staff, the company has been able to take on extra work and its bank balance has gone from strength to strength. And one more example, thank you for helping this channel go from strength to strength. And last but not least, one of my favorites, I use it quite often and it's the best of both worlds. This idiom refers to a situation in which you can enjoy the advantages of two different things. I like it so much because you get everything. And the verbs you can use is to get or to have the best of both worlds. And now a few examples. The first one, I don't like spending my vacation in big cities. I prefer charming small towns in nature, but with some amenities on hand. In this way, I can get the best of both worlds. The second example, she's one of the world's most famous models who is very protective of her privacy. Thus, she has the best of both worlds. And the last example for today, couples living apart can get the best of both worlds. They enjoy each other's company, but at the same time, they have enough space and privacy. So guys, that's it for today. Thank you for having watched this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and learned at least one new idiom. And if you want, I have more lessons on C2 idioms. You can check them out right here. And guys, I also encourage you to pick one idiom that we have learned today to write one simple sentence because it's always easier to remember idioms in context and leave it in the comments below and I will be happy to check it for you. And guys, if you learned something new and enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up, to subscribe to English Bits and catch me on Instagram for more daily English. Every day there is a quiz and I also teach one word per day. With that being said, thanks for watching and see you next Sunday. Ciao for now!